Thank you for joining me today. I'm Ugar Nabiev. I'm going to talk to you about the best ways to improve your English reading skills. One of the most important things to express yourself fluently in English is to be able to think in English. Reading a book develops your thinking skills and develops your ability to think in English. You can learn new words with the help of a dictionary while reading texts. It will also greatly help you develop your other language skills. People who are good communicators have a vast store of vocabulary from their reading that they can draw on the moment they need it, while others flounder for words. So, read if you want to have a wide vocabulary. Read if you want to be a good communicator. Read if you want to open opportunities in life. There are many advantages associated with reading. First, learning vocabulary in context. You'll usually encounter new words when you read. If there are too many new words for you, then the level is too high and you should read something simpler. But if there are a maximum of five new words per page, you'll learn this vocabulary easily. You may not even need to use a dictionary because you can guess the meaning from the rest of the text from the context. Second, a model for writing. When you read, it gives you a good example for writing. Texts that you read show you structures and expressions that you can use when you write. Third, seeing correctly structured English. When people write, they usually use correct English with a proper grammatical structure. This is not always true when people speak. So, by reading, you see and learn grammatical English naturally. Fourth, working at your own speed. You can read as fast or as slowly as you like. You can read 10 pages in 30 minutes or take one hour to explore just one page. It doesn't matter. The choice is yours. You cannot easily do this when speaking or listening. Fifth, personal interest. If you choose something to read that you like, it can actually be interesting and enjoyable. For example, if you like to read about biology in your own language, why not read about biology in English? You'll get information about biology and improve your English at the same time. Make a habit of reading regularly. Choose reading materials that relate to what you are interested in. Being interested in the subject will make learning more enjoyable, thus more effective. The internet is the most exciting, unlimited English resource that anyone could imagine, and you can benefit from it very effectively. In general, there are two main reasons for reading. Reading for pleasure and reading for information. Texts for reading should be carefully selected. They should be interesting, relevant to learners' age, entertaining and motivating in the first place, and they should certainly be at the right level of difficulty. The text may be too difficult because it contains complex language or because it's about a topic that learners don't know about. Reading aloud will make it easier for you to realize what you are reading. This method will not only keep you focused on your reading, but also help you improve your pronunciation, rhythm and intonation. But be sure to practice with texts that you understand. Here are five tips for reading. Tip number one, try to read at the right level. Read something you can understand to some extent. If you need to stop every three words to look up in a dictionary, it's not interesting for you and you'll soon be discouraged. Tip number two, make a note of new vocabulary. If there are four or five new words on a page, 
write them in your vocabulary copybook. But you don't have to write them while you read. Instead, try to guess their meaning as you read. Mark them with a pencil. Then come back when you finished reading to check in a dictionary and add them to your vocabulary copybook. Tip number three. Try to read regularly. For example, read for a short time once a day. 15 minutes every day is better than two hours every Sunday. Fix a time to read and keep to it. For example, you could read for 15 minutes when you go to bed or when you get up or at lunch break. Tip number four. Be organized. Have everything ready. Something to read, a marker or pencil to highlight difficult words, a dictionary, your vocabulary copybook, a pen to write down the new words. Tip number five. Read what interests you. Choose a magazine, newspaper or book about a subject that you like. Thanks for your attention. Hit the like button, share my video if you enjoy it. Subscribe my channel. I wish you every success in learning English perfectly. Bye.